key that I'm wearing today. Why is it key? Because the key is education is the key. Education is the key, and it's called that that it opens a lot of doors and opportunities for us. And today here, I'm gonna try to address it as if it was an item that we need to sell for our children. They are our consumers and it's about time to take them into consideration. Okay. So, some of the things that uh, uh, education that's not addressing is the way we address visuals and multi-portal multi learning theory, which is more than one sense, integrating it in our education. Today I'm going to be speaking about visuals and and uh, language and how we can integrate it. As you can see here, 10% of what we hear after three days, you would remember 10% of what you hear in those past three days, 35% what you saw, and 65% of what you heard and saw. So probably this from this conference, after three days, you would remember this present presentation because it has a lot of visuals. Another thing that I wanted to come and say here, because I'm more professional to be, or credible enough to be giving theories and talking about all those stuff. I'm here to give ideas. We actually need to redesign the schools and the way they are being implemented right now. By creating this dynamism between the educational system that happens preschool, elementary, high school, and reaching out to universities that are more specialized. If those universities were to give all these institutes the help that they need in making interactive learning and making the, uh, the learning process more easy for the children by integrating more visuals that will stick in the memory of the children more than the language that spewer letters and words and we get bored out of it. So now if I don't have these visuals, we would be you now snoring and asleep. I appreciate that. But going back. Okay, so as we can see, if let's say the educational, um, education department at the university was to provide more interactive games for the students and engineers who would promote the maker's culture and this is what we need to promote, the more making and less, uh, less doing. No, that didn't sound right. So, <laughs> so just less talking and more making and more trying. <laughs> Another idea from a graphic designer, I, would, I wanted to suggest this idea, which is uh, why can't we create an, uh, a whole identity for a subject? Why can't we have for history a logo and a visual identity and the character that tells us all the stories throughout the history? So if you can see here, Grandpa, uh, who used to be a photojournalist since the 20, 200,000 years ago till now, he still practices, and he has all the ideas that went through the history. So, what if the exam was like this? Where was I in 1940? It's the only thing that I remembered from my history classes, though I used to ace it, but it's the only thing that got stuck because it was boring and all the time, blah, blah, blah. So, if this was on my exam, I would be able to relate to my character and personify this subject and make it more and build a relationship with these people that are telling me the stories of math, biology, chemistry and other stuff that would help me remember them later on. So, there was a one world war one was. Okay. And what if the notes were like this? So my notebook would remind me all the time with my educational partner that would allow me also to rate this lesson and go to Facebook and Twitter and tweet about this topic or research about this topic that I'm trying to study. So the last message that I wanted to leave you with, okay, I repeated what Rand said. <laughs> Education is the key. So why don't we try to integrate and visual visualizing this education in a more marketing approach. Thank you.